the three-match ODI series to be played in India in December. The planned series is subject to government approval. However, India and Pakistan last played in bilateral series in November 2007, which India clinched 3-2. After that, there was no bilateral cricket between the two arch rivals, even though they did face each other in multi-team events like the World Cup. In what could be a bonanza for cricket lovers on both the sides of the border, as well as in normalizing relations between the arc rivals, cricketing ties between India and Pakistan are all set to resume. The BCCI deciding to invite the neighboring team for a three-match ODI series in December. The ties had been snapped after the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks, and there have been several attempts by the Pakistan Cricket Board in recent months to convince the BCCI. BCCI Working Committee has decided today to resume the ties. The cricket ties with Pakistan, and the BCCI will be inviting Pakistan team in third week of December for three ODIs and two 2020 games, and uh, the venue are also being finalised, and the uh, nitty gritties will be decided by the BCCI president, Mr. N. Srinivasan, and he'll be talking to the Pakistan Cricket Board and uh, working out the formalities and arrangements. The PCB had earlier proposed that either India tour Pakistan or play them at a neutral venue. The series will be played during the Christmas break. India has a packed cricket schedule this year, and the Indo-Pak matches will be accommodated in the middle of England's tour to India. India and Pakistan last played in a bilateral series in November 2007, in which the former beat the latter 3-2. After that, there was no bilateral cricket between the two arch rivals, even though they did face each other in multi-team events like the World Cup. Although the fixture of the three-match series is yet to be decided, Mohali and Chennai are the likely venues to host the matches. The third venue could be either New Delhi or Bangalore. Resumption of Indo-Pak bilateral cricket ties got a boost after the foreign secretaries of both the countries asserted that sporting relations should be strengthened. The thaw in the relations had begun much before that when BCCI invited Pakistan's domestic 2020 champion Sialkot Stallions to participate in the qualifying tournament of Champions League 2020 to be held in South Africa later this year. During the recent visit of PCB chief Zaka Ashraf to India, and at last month's ICC and Asian Cricket Council meetings in Malaysia, there had been discussions between officials of both the boards on the matter. Sports desk, DD News. And to discuss this decision uh, on the show tonight, I'm joined by Malay Nirav, senior journalist, and also Chetan Sharma, former cricketer. Both gentlemen, thank you for being on the show. Malay, let me begin by asking you, what is your take on this decision? Well. Uh, Cricket binds people. Cricket binds nations. So far as the role of cricket in binding the two nations is concerned, well, it is a welcome step because it's a game, and uh, traditionally we have been rivals. But here, I would like to distinguish between the rivalry which is there between India and Pakistan and the rivalry which is there between great cricket playing nations like, say, Australia and England. Mm -hmm. They also are considered the biggest rivals. But when India and Pakistan play, it's much more than merely games or sports rivalry, which is there on the scene. Mm -hmm. It's a rivalry of a different kind. Mm -hmm. It is a rivalry where we cannot keep politics out of it. We wish we say that let us not mix politics with games, but mm -hmm. it is not possible. I'll give you one example. See, in India, we know that BCCI is an autonomous body. Mm -hmm. We've been cribbing about it because our sports minister wants to control the BCCI. It cannot. It's an autonomous body. Mm -hmm. Now, when you go to Pakistan, they're the, B they're the Pakistan Cricket Board, the PCB. Its autonomy is under not one but several question marks. Mm -hmm. the, the government of Pakistan determines and decides who is going to run the PCB. Therefore, when a decision is taken, when a proposal is made by the PCB, before India, it's not merely PCB talking. It's the Pakistan it's government talking. The Pakistan talking. government That's talking, and right. it's a people-to-people -people contact. Is fine. So then, what are you saying, Malay? What I'm saying is that, so far as playing cricket between the two nations is concerned, it is a welcome step. Mm -hmm. But the reasons for which this mm -hmm. tournament are uh, is is or this these five matches are going to be played, these reasons are not convincing enough for two reasons: a, that what was the hurry. B, mm -hmm. we have a packed calendar, cricketing calendar, and, and while the English team will be in India and celebrating Christmas in its okay. hometown, uh, right. home country, here in India, our players who are already tired, 
we will be right. we'll, we'll discuss that. Like yes, uh, uh, Mani, we'll discuss that at length, but uh, clearly you uh, don't agree with the decision by Not and entirely. large. All right. Uh, Chetan, the House is clearly divided. We've heard many cricketers, some welcoming it, but some opposing it. Sunil Gavaskar was the first one to come out uh, with that. Uh, what is your view on it? Everybody has his own views, and uh, according to me, I still feel, uh, what was the need of it? What why? was the need of it? Yeah. Okay. Why, 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 we, why we should go and play with Pakistan? With a packed season, our cricketers are not getting rest. Okay, end of the day, BCCI is after IPL, given 50 days rest to the cricketer. Doesn't mean like they have to continuously play 15 months uh, ahead of that. Mm -hmm. when, when England is out, mm -hmm. uh, celebrating Christmas, we don't mm -hmm. have to go and play Pakistan. For what? Mm -hmm. <coughs> end of the day, we played uh, Pakistan in the World Cup in Mohali. The way the Pakistan team will be looked after by the Indian uh, administrators. After that, what uh, Afridi has to go and say in Pakistan? Our, our hearts are not the same. Mm -hmm. We have done enough for Afridi. We have done enough for Pakistan team. End of the day, if we have to go and listen to things like that, their people are not nice. Their cricketers are not nice. So they Chitana, are, they are, are very opposed? bad on, on the field. Ch Chitana, are you I opposed to 100%. Are you, no, no, no. Chitana, are you opposed to the decision because it's a packed calendar and what was the hurry? Or are you saying you're not convinced that Pakistan has done enough on otherwise and uh, it shouldn't have been resumed? They have they, no, not uh, actually done enough. Mm -hmm. And secondly, their cricketers are uh, uh, not thankful uh, to the B to BCCI. They always wanted to play IPL. When when they know the BCCI are going to ban them from IPL, they are good boys. As mm -hmm. soon as they go back home, they are different altogether. When they are in India, they are the best of the okay. friends. When okay. they go back to Pakistan, they are the best of the enemies. If they have double standards, mm -hmm. I don't think so. The Indian board should accommodate them. Right. It Man, might be because BCCI is a body which cannot take a decision of their own. I, okay. I, I'm, I'm with BCCI when at the age of 14. I know it mm -hmm. is definitely the government involved in it. But okay, why to accommodate players like Afridi? End of the day, I, as a cricketer, I don't want to listen by anybody against my country and okay. my people. Okay. Uh, do you uh, buy that sentiment of well, uh, partly yes, because see, there are two things here. Let me let me put the two things to, uh, <coughs> separately first. Why were the cricketing ties stopped? Because mm. post 2611, there was some kind of a mistrust or distrust between the two nations. True. How has the situation improved since 2611? Has it to such an extent that we can start the same thing, which we stopped because we thought it was not proper to continue with it? That is the first question that needs mm -hmm. to be answered. So far, the second issue is concerned, where Chetan has raised a very pertinent question: Who? gains and what are the reasons well i don't mind saying the bcci gains mm -hmm. with five matches the total revenue expected revenue that bcci would have is 210 crores only from tv rights because currently the tv contract that it has that mm -hmm. does not include india pakistan matches mm -hmm. and 42 crores is what is stipulated to be the income for the bcci from one match so mm -hmm. bcci definitely is a gainer mm -hmm. the second thing Pakistan gains. Pakistan has been trying to establish its credibility, which was lost to a large extent after the 2611 and before the 911. And after Obama was caught there in Pakistan, they have been trying to show Osama, to the world. Osama, Osama sorry, I'm terribly sorry. After Osama was uh, uh, shot and shot and, and, and they're, they're trying to, they are trying, they're into a credibility rebuilding measure, mm -hmm. right? They want to rebuild their credibility, and this is where I think. Uh, we need to uh, uh, look at these two things very, very clearly as not being guided purely by the spirit of the game, which is cricket. But Chetan, as Mali says, that it is an exercise for Pakistan. Let's look at entirely how what Pakistan gets out of it. Even if we assume Pakistan is not doing it for the love of the game or the PCB does not take its own decisions, it's guided by the Pakistani government and they're trying to restore their credibility in the international fora. What is wrong with it? Why shouldn't we, after all, a stable Pakistan is in our interest. So why shouldn't we help them do that? Um, uh, I don't want to, as a cricketer, wants to go in politics. At okay. all. In the sense, uh, I don't want to talk about the politics, uh, uh, mixing cricket with it. I just want to say what is the profit of PCB mm -hmm. they are absolutely in red mm -hmm. whenever they are in red they need the help of BCCI mm -hmm. when BCCI goes and help them I still remember 2003 when uh, India India visited Pakistan the amount of crowd the amount of money where PCB earned it 
and suddenly once the money comes to them mm -hmm. then the embassy says nothing to them mm -hmm. you know why uh, when they whenever they are in red when they are in worst of the situations the india india they want to play against india at the present i don't think so uh, when we won the world cup in 2011 mahendra singh dhoni and sachin tendulkar attributed that uh, um, big thing their victory mm -hmm. to the mumbai blast mm -hmm. did anybody ask mahendra singh dhoni and sachin tendulkar do you want to play against pakistan mm -hmm. did anybody ask any cricketer do you want to play against pakistan what a cricketer is going to get playing against pakistan this is my question like i'm just talking cricket i don't want to you know mix up politics with it but what, what a cricketer is going to get chit chit a headache mm -hmm. blood pressure you lose against anybody don't lose against pakistan this is what a every well, that's indian part of the game that, no, that, that is what in i mean when, when you played pakistan that was a part why? of the game that's what at, the, the, at the present we have such a pack uh, season ahead of us we don't want to play pakistan Mm -hmm. as a cricketer I, if i would have been an indian team i don't want to play pakistan in middle of in 10 days rest i i'm playing 7 days of cricket with pakistan taking so much of headache mm -hmm. getting my blood pressure up and uh, with a chance something goes wrong in cricket anything can happen in cricket listening to your public you know so you essentially saying packed season and the sentiment is not there to play pakistan well, yes, these uh, are the two uh, points as, as, as if i'm talking about my personal uh, mm -hmm. thing i don't think so the sentiments are not there i'm not ready to play at the present against pakistan why should i be playing against pakistan all right has india got so violated the people of india by the 26 11 mumbai attacks that the time is not ripe for beginning or resum uh, resuming cricketing ties with pakistan well the government or the bcci clearly doesn't thinks at the moment that the time is ripe to start playing again and perhaps move on but of course the the opinion is divided we'll talk more about that but that's after a very short break जीवन तरंग पॉलिसी प्रीमियम भरने का सिलसिला चाहे खत्म हो जाए और रेगुलर इनकम आती जाए सुनिए क्या आपको इसका सही वजन पता है इस पर वजन लिखा तो है लेकिन ये वजन सही है इसकी क्या गारंटी तो दोबारा वजन करवा लेते हैं भैया जरा इसका वजन तो कीजिए अरे मैडम लिखा तो है फिर क्या जरूरत है बार बार तोलने की जरूरत है अगर कोई दुकानदार वैट का भुगतान करता है तो उसके पास ऐसा इलेक्ट्रॉनिक तराजू होना चाहिए जिससे वजन की रसीद निकलती हो ग्राहक के कहने पर आप वजन करने से इनकार नहीं कर सकते जागो ग्राहक जागो Welcome back on Late Edition tonight. We're discussing the resumption of Indo-Pak cricketing ties, and on the show with me is Malay Nirav, senior journalist, and Chetan Sharma, a former cricketer. Chetan, before we went into a break, you made two points. Essentially, you said that the cricketers are not going to gain anything out of it. It's, it's a packed season; it will be taxing on them, uh, and uh, uh, you know the sentiment perhaps is not right at the moment to play against Pakistan. But what about the fans? The fans worldwide want to say, see India and Pakistan playing. After all, look at Mohali when that World Cup semi-final happened. Your viewership was higher than the World Cup final. That's World so Cup. Pe people want to see India and Pakistan play. No, Why deny the fans that opportunity? No, no, I'm not denying the fans. I'm not saying anything. That was World Cup, and India was uh, in in semi-finals after so many years. In 1983, we won the World Cup. We desperately wanted to. But also, there was the, this angle that we were playing Pakistan. India, Pakistan. is a high profile games yes mm -hmm. there is no doubt about it but we 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 are reading the statements from ms ball hak and the fans of pakistan are very happy to play against india mm -hmm. but have you heard anybody uh, like um, you know dancing and saying all any cricketer saying oh oh we are very happy we were missing pakistan oh we should have played with pakistan pakistan is not playing any cricket for two and a half months in that period after the world cup 2020 and india no, is no, no, my question now is 
about the fans. You know, I was at that Mohali semi-final and I spoke to both the Indians and the Pakistanis who had come from across the border because Mohali is not too far away from the Vaga border. People were really happy. People wanted, people were opening up their homes for Pakistanis to come and stay with them. And the Pakistanis were, when and the fans, were thankful to the Indians for their hospitality. No, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Hospitality in Mohali was brilliant, even for Afridi. Why did he have to go and say the, the statement what we heard the entire India heard what, like we are not including the fans okay if we, India uh, Pakistan matches are high profile tense matches nobody wants to lose it's not a cricket match inside that 70 yard it's not a cricket match mm -hmm. I played for so many years 12 years for India it's never a cricket match from 83 I'm playing for India it's a, it's like a war it's mm -hmm. a war on the ground it's a war up there mm -hmm. and when oh, obviously any 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 fan of cricket around the world will love to see a cricket like this the mm -hmm. hundred hundred percent electrifying mm -hmm. but end of the day my question is why all the time we boo our head why we go for friendship what we get out of friendship this is my question okay. you know and uh, what end of the day why only us why all not right. any, Malik, anybody Malik, else all right Malik, let me uh, let me bring you in you know, when uh, uh, Javed Miyadad hit that six and won that match in uh, Sharjah on Chetan's last ball, Chetan wouldn't have perhaps felt very bad. He would have come out of the game saying it's a game after all. But he would have felt perhaps very dejected when uh, Javed Miyadad's son marries Daud Ibrahim's daughter and he's a terrorist that India wants. That's the sentiment that he's putting forward that is the time ripe? Have we overcome that? No, see, uh, to be fair to Chetan, Chetan has very clearly said that he doesn't want to mix politics with games. And uh, so far as the matrimonial alliance between Daud and Miyadar is concerned, I think that's a... Let's no, the, I'm that. just us using yes. that as an example. No, but, but at the same time, what I'm trying to tell you is that I was there for the 2004, the so-called Dosti series, mm -hmm. when India went to Pakistan, it was a big fanfare. And the kind of welcome that the Indians and the Indian team received was unprecedented. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to tell you ever since we started is that when it comes to people to people contact, mm -hmm. you no, know, there they say awam se awam tak, janta se janta tak, people to people. I think no one wants this kind of a line to be drawn where they cannot meet, they cannot play, mm -hmm. and this is something where the Indians and the Pakistanis, the sports lovers, would not like this to happen ideally. Mm -hmm. But every time a gesture is made from Indian side after something untoward happens where the relationship is soured every mm -hmm. time a gesture is made I'm talking about 1978 downwards right mm -hmm. up to now mm -hmm. what have we achieved what have we gained what how has Pakistan reacted differently to India after India has resumed playing cricket if you can tell me one incident where the confidence middling measure of uh, a cricket playing as a confidence middling measure has had the desired results, I'll say, okay, let, give you okay, let them sacrifice their vacation, mm -hmm, let mm -hmm. them go and play, do that extra bit. The players would not mind doing it so long as it brings some positive kind of uh, a positive positivity in the relationship between the two nations. That was but the this, as this whole business of cricket diplomacy is so boorish. Mm -hmm. cricket diplomacy. What kind of diplomacy are we talking about? Let me give you, you know, I asked the same question to the Indian uh, External Affairs uh, Ministry when they decided to resume the dialogue with Pakistan at Thimpu, when our Prime Minister went on the sidelines of Sark, the both the Prime Ministers met. The answer was, we haven't been talking to Pakistan post-2008 saying that please do something on 26-11 investigations, we will begin talking to you. But the time has come that even if they haven't done much, uh, what we would have, wa would, would have wanted them to do, but what have we gained by not talk talking to them? It's only solidified their isolation and made them even more hardened. So therefore, talk to them, try and make them see reason, try and understand their problems. So if cricket is used as a tool of diplomacy, why should there be a problem? Give them a chance. Give them another chance. Give them yet another chance. And the last chance that you gave yesterday, after that, what has happened? The Pakistan court 
and Commission of Inquiry has completely rejected the findings of Indian proceedings into the 2611 incident. This is the news today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There is something called reciprocation. When you want pa India to raise its arms of friendship, hands of friendship, you must learn to reciprocate. See, but again, what I am saying is, why do we need to use cricket as a confidence building measure? Has it ever served the purpose? Mm -hmm. When it comes to people of the two countries enjoying India and Pakistan playing cricket together, they have always enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. See, but it's not merely cricket as a game. Would you not agree that cricket is now identified with a sense of nationalism? Mm -hmm. Cricket symbolizes nationalism in per both the nations. Perhaps if we play more, we will break out of that mentality? No. That would not happen because, you see, the thing is that there is a divide. As I told you, this kind of a healthy rivalry is not found there because the government and the diplomats and those who have kept the two nations apart, when they try to play this game, mm -hmm. then it becomes a bit difficult to swallow for every citizen of this country and that country as well. Chetan, let me give you an argument. I know what your viewpoint is, but let me give you an argument and please listen to it with an open mind. Play more cricket, for a moment accept it, play more cricket, bilateral cricket, widen the horizon, make it hockey, you were traditional rivals in hockey, uh, Samuel Haq Qureshi plays with Rohan Bopanna, include more games, play with them, wrestling, whatever common games that you can play and perhaps we will take sports out of the politics that way. I'm not against playing uh, cricket, hockey, football, anything. I'm not as a sportsman. I, uh, I always, I, anybody on everybody, I'm ready to play. The pressure will be against Australia, the pressure will be against India, and as well as against Pakistan. Doesn't make a difference to me. I'm a cricketer, but I'm not a superhuman. End of the day, I'm a human. I'm a citizen of India, and a neighbor. I, I I'm living in a society. A neighbor died in a car gill. Mm -hmm. His wife and his kids are still waiting for him. I can't try take that. I cannot take another Kargil again. Mm -hmm. You know, this is this is what I am saying. Mm -hmm. This is tomorrow. My son, my daughter will grow up, will say the same because I can see that woman. I can see their child. I can I can see the entire old age parents still crying and waiting for their son. I respect your sentiment. How do you expect a cricketer to go and? do it again and again and again again you know when when we when we uh, went back to pakistan uh, mr Vajpayee was there kiti azad one of our cricketer was the main guy who started let's say let's you know make cricket bad not mm -hmm. a weapon let's let's leave weapons and hold a cricket bad mm -hmm. what happened we everybody stood up applauded and we were ready cheering to go you know from my bottom of my heart i always said no that the good thing was happened Again and again, we are doing it. And at the end of the day, no, but it when hurts. You went, let it me hurts. ask you: When you went and played in Pakistan, didn't it treat you well? Didn't you get love from the fans? Didn't I'm you get not ordination? talking about the common people at all. Uh, today, if as whatever the ties might be today, again India and Pakistan. Today, if Chetan Sharma again lands in Pakistan, okay, you really Chetan Sharma. Chetan Sharma is a very famous man in Pakistan. After that last ball, la last ball episode against Chavid Mia, okay. I think so. I'm the most famous, famous guy. Okay. Anybody lands, even Malay goes to Pakistan. If they come to know you are a Indian, you are, you have been you like you are the best of the guys. You you've been. I, I, in 84, I went to Pakistan. I never paid a single penny for any shopping I did. This is what Indian people do it with them. This is what this is a common thinking. Mm -hmm. But where the thinking has to be changed, mm -hmm. this is what I'm trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. And who 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 has been hurt after that? It's mm -hmm. us. I'm a, I'm a common man. Mm -hmm. After my cricketing days, at, I'm sitting here as a ex cricketer. Mm -hmm. When I'm not on the field, I'm just a common citizen of India. It right. hurts a common All citizen right. of that India. That is well, that is the overwhelming sentiment which many hold, uh, as Ajahn Chetan has put it uh, very brilliantly. But uh, Malay, uh, let's talk about uh, the why do you, in your opinion, did the BCCI take this decision at this juncture? I've already told you that the BCCI was under pressure from the PCB and the BCCI also saw lots of money coming in from TV rights for these matches which are going to be played. 
See, the BCCI is not controlled by the government of India. The PCB is controlled by the government of Pakistan. So you say you say you this say is, you, this you is the difference between the two. Right. Now, uh, one more thing I would like to add, and this is a point that I have been trying to make, and I'm sure you will appreciate it, that when we talk about the two nations coming together with cricket as a binding force, as a binding factor, there is no denying the fact that the two should be playing. But is there any such a wound? which needs to be healed for the people of India to realize that the government of Pakistan is not using cricket once again, once more, to fool the Indians. All right. Well, that is the sentiment the two gentlemen have in our studio, but this is also the sentiment which a lot of people have. Of course, there is a counter view to it. But now that the BCCI has decided to resume the ties, uh, of course, uh, they are waiting the government approval. If the government does approve it because there is a political angle to it, uh, many within the ruling party, ruling coalition are opposed to it. But if it gets a government clearance, uh, perhaps the Pakistanis need to respond to the sentiment and if not on the cricket playing field, outside the cricket playing field, uh, do something more on the 26-11 investigations. On that note, we leave it this uh, at this show. Thanks for watching. Namaskar. Good night.